Hi everyone, Paul ISM, welcome to the At The Bench update. Hey everyone, Paul ISM, so here we are again, it's uh, Tuesday morning, seems to be a bit of a regular thing now. And uh, as you can see, my Tic Tac and W behind me is complete. Um, so we'll head on over to the uh, the booth and then have a little look at that and a little chat about it. And uh, see how it went. Absolutely love the kit. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, and for me, a fitting end to uh, the touring car build for myself. Uh, managed to build five touring cars in the two months, which is great. I'm made up with that. Um, and next time we come back, when the build's officially ended, um, I will do a little showcase. I'll look through everyone's builds, who shares them. Uh, I put a post up on Facebook, so if you have completed it, uh, there's a post on Facebook from myself on ISM. Uh, post a single picture in there, a uh, brief description of what you've done, and we'll have a look at it uh, next week and a little chat. So well done, everybody that took part. Well done, everybody that finished. And there's some absolutely fantastic builds in there. Uh, some first-time builds, which is brilliant to see. And, uh, yeah, very happy with how that's gone. Now, because that's finished, the muscle car build starts. That officially starts Saturday. Um, but it's starting today. It's Tuesday the 28th today, and uh, we are officially starting the muscle car build now. So that runs for two months, uh, so basically until uh, the end of, where are we? Let me see, October it'll be, the end of October. Uh, so you've got two months to build any muscle car, which for me is any big-engined American car, uh, preferably from the 60s and 70s. We want to do a newer one. I've got no problem with that at all. I'm not going to be ridiculously strict on the rules, or preferably, let's get to keep to the proper 60s, 70s muscle cars if we can. Uh, so there's lots of potential entries to that. A lot of people taking part, which is good to see. And like I say, I've got a couple of months to build it, so should be plenty of time. Myself, I think, so far, I'm going to build Revel's Hemi Cuda. Uh, it's a two-in-one kit. Uh, I was a bit torn at first at what to do, but I think I am going to do the green version. Um, with the rims off the blue and silver one, possibly. Not 100% decided yet, and I'm going to do that colour. Um, this is, let me get it right, this is Zero Paints. I think it's a Rancio Atlas Pearl. It's a Lamborghini colour, and it's a pearlescent orange. So I think that'll look pretty cool on there, to be honest. Um, so that's the colour it's going to be. It's been 2 k that as well, so you can see the proper shine off it. So you can see my LED lights on the roof. So that is the plan. Now, the wheels, I don't know. I might pick something different. I do quite like those rims. The five spoke at the top um, let's ignore the chrome because the chrome is horrible in the kit I'll probably do them in a different colour maybe a gum metal or something we'll see um, but I don't know I'll have a look around I'll get, get a few opinions about the rims and uh, we'll see what we think so looking forward to that hopefully we're going to get plenty of people involved in it also um, as has been suggested uh, <laughs> I want to do a truck build so I've got a couple of trucks in the stash one of them's right above my head behind me there you can see and the other one's up here somewhere. Um, so a few people have anticipated the building, gone out and bought trucks. So, okay, we're going to do a truck build then. So from the 1st of October, uh, I'm going to start a truck build as well. First truck for me in a long, long time. I've only built one before, and that was in 2003, Manhattan's old house, uh, where I went out one day, a bit bored, went to a model shop, and... Uh, Bought a full Revel truck and trailer and proceeded to hand paint it with enamels, which I remember was a nightmare. Um, yeah, so I kind, of, I kind of put my trucks for a long time. But I'm going to build one and we're going to give three months to that. So that'll run from the 1st of October all the way up till New Year. Uh, if you want to take part in that, again, when we get close to the time, about halfway through the month, I'll start posting about it on Facebook. Uh, and literally, what we decided, we've had a truck build before, and what we decided was the smallest truck we will allow is like a Mercedes Unimog. Anything smaller than that doesn't really count. And we're going to keep it civilian only. Not civilian, non-military. So if you want to do emergency services, you can. I will allow uh, fire trucks, um, things like that, police trucks, anything like that you can find. But a Unimog is probably the smallest type I will allow. Uh, it doesn't have to be articulated. I've got a fixed um, trailer truck up there that I might do. I'm undecided yet. But, uh, yeah, definitely non-military we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, if you want to take part in that, give us a shout in the chat down below in the comments, and we will sort that out. A couple things in the post today from that madman Sam, uh, who bought me that. He found that the other day. Um, these are superb books. I'll look through it in a minute. Uh, very quick 
um, look through um, on the overhead cam. Um, these are back to front because they're Japanese and it's all written in Japanese, but you can translate it if you want. But as a picture reference, they are fantastic. I've got the same one for the Honda NSR 500. Oh, it's an invaluable, invaluable source of info. And there's another potential buddy bill because sounds mad. He bought one of these and he bought me one as well. And this looks like a great kit as well. And again, we'll have a very, very quick look through the box in a second and see what we think. Superb. So, like I said, the BMW's done. We'll go over there and have a look in a sec. Uh, the bike I had an absolute nightmare with, and my decals got eaten, kind of. Uh, not by me, uh, by my 2K. I don't think it was a 2K. I think it just didn't allow them to dry long enough. So, I managed to source a whole new kit. Uh, I got quite a bargain. I got the kit, uh, the Tech 3 Yamaha kit. I got the aftermarket set from uh, Studio 27, I think it was, and a fork set. And I managed to get all that for £55 off eBay. It's about 130 quid worth, so an absolute bargain. So I've got a full uh, decal set and some spares left. Uh, full bodywork, which I've completely redone. It's over there drying. It's in the drawer. Everything has been uh, glued, sanded, smoothed a lot, primed and painted. It's painted in black. It's ready to be decaled. Uh, when I want to spend another day decaling, um, I will decal it again, take my time, and let it dry for a couple of days before 2 k in. Uh, I'm not going to use the Meeper, I'm going to stick with the Pro Ring stuff I've been using lately. And uh, hopefully we can get this bike done and crack on with some of those, sorry, wrong way, those excellent bike kits I've got left behind me. I've cleared out a little bit of the stash of the bike kits, I got rid of about eight or nine of them. Um, just kits I didn't think I was going to necessarily build, I kept all the, the choice ones that I've always wanted to do. So they're mainly uh, a couple of NSR 500s, uh, RC211s, uh, Wisedar M1s, and that's it. And they're pretty rare kits, a lot of those, so... Quite happy to keep those, indeed. Great service from Hobbyco, uh, Tamiya's uh, importer for the UK, who supplied me some spare bits and bobs. Literally, not the cheapest, but at least you're getting the spares. Uh, and next day delivery on them as well. So I have I've complained about the Hobbyco before because they don't answer emails very well. But if you ring them up and speak to them, uh, I think it's Darren we got in the past department. Can't fault them at all. Really good service. And literally, even to the point of getting up bringing us back because they've physically gone to check stock as well rather than just assuming and taking the money they've actually checked the stock which is good so there we go um right so what we'll do is we'll go over there have a look at the bmw have a look through this box in this book and then we'll come back and say goodbye okay this is b max's one 24th e30 bmw m3 um i've added sk decal uh bbs rims a decal cast tic tac scheme and just some fabric belts interior. Other than that, it's an out-the-box kit. Uh, love these kits. This is the fourth one I've built now. Uh, I've got about another seven in the stash. Loads of decal schemes. And it is definitely one of my favourite kits. It's got one or two little niggles. The main one being the bonnet. Um, it sits off centre a little bit in its locating pins. Very easy fix. Literally just widen the hole to one side on all four pins. And it's scoot over half a mil, and that's it. Job done. Glue it in place, and it's finished. So, absolutely love this kit. Uh, it goes together with no real drama at all. And, um, yeah, no bother. My other little complaint about it is the glass. The glass isn't the best. It's okay, but it's not the clearest, and it marks quite easy as well. But, love it. Absolutely love this car. The real road car is an iconic motorsport car. And as a kit, this thing goes together really well. So this was Prime to UP White Primer, base coated and decanted Tamiya TS26 White. Uh, then a superb decal cast Tic Tac scheme went on. I had no bother with that at all. They've gone on absolutely fantastic. I think the most troublesome part was on that rear spoiler, getting the gold stripe over the top. And even that wasn't all that difficult. Uh, they lay down perfectly well with microset and sole. And yeah, no issues at all with those. Absolutely superb decals. And an absolutely amazing looking scheme. Really do like this one. I am tempted to try the other Tic Tac scheme, which involves a mask set and spraying. A little bit more involved, uh, but I think I need to do it. Um, after a couple of days, that was then clear coated in the Pro Range 2K Clear. Allowed a couple of days to dry. Polished up with Novus uh, Fine Scratch Remover and given a Tamiya Wax. Uh, the rims, the SKD Cal BBS rims, I think they're about 20 inch in real life uh, aluminium outers resin centers and aluminium uh, center locks in the middle so i just polished up the actual rims themselves uh, using my proxon multi-tool wool mop and some mcguire's metal polish 
Um, the actual centre locks themselves, the locking cap in the middle, uh, they were primed in um, UMP Black Primer and then uh, sprayed in AK Gun Metal. And then the resin spokes were sprayed again UMP Primer and decanted Tamiya TS21. Did use brass on the Sierra, uh, which are the same rims but smaller, I believe. Um, but on this, I just didn't quite like the look. So I went with the Tamiya TS21, and I think it looks a little bit better. Um, they weren't clear coated at all, they were left as they were. Uh, Assembly is really easy, clean up is really easy, and I think these are about £12 delivered. Absolute bargain. And speaking to Frankie at SK a couple of days ago, I think he said he's going to retool these. I've got a couple more on the stash. Uh, of the wheel sets, but I think he's going to retool them and get them back out. And they sit right under those arches perfectly. Uh, they are big rims, and that thing is hunkered down right on them. Uh, the kit tires fit perfectly, and I just grabbed some Pirelli decals at my uh, supplier decals. Not exactly the correct ones, but they were literally all I had. Um, interior is as the kit is. Um, all I've added is some blue. Uh, Sparco seat belts, uh, fabric belts with P harnesses and uh, buckles, and what have you. Um, and that's it. Absolutely superb kit. Iconic car in a great looking scheme. And like I say, everyone needs to build one of these BMAX BMWs. And by the looks of it, they've got a couple of other releases planned because the rally version came with a different front splitter that's not seen on any of the other cars. So whether they're planning a British touring car uh, E30, I don't know. But I'm going to guess there's 100% from BMAX due an M3 road car because I've never noticed it before, but I did yesterday. Uh, the mirror glass, the reflective part you can see now just spinning around. In the kit, there is the elongated glass for the road mirrors. Uh, so I think we're going to get a road going M3 at some point off uh, BMAX, which would be very nice if they do. Uh, it's an iconic car. And uh, yeah, I'd quite happily build a road car version of it. So there you go, VMAX is 124E30 BMW M3. Uh, absolutely superb build, love this one. It looks absolutely striking. And uh, on to the next. Okay, as I said before, my madman friend Sam sent my little boy James a present and chucked this in with me as well. As well as this, he's crazy. He bought one himself, got me one, and it's another buddy build for me and Sam. I'll have a quick through that, look through that in a second. Um, that's our review, but we'll have a quick look through the box. And he bought this. Uh, as you know, I love these BMW M3s. It's one of my favourite cars. And this is a book. I've got a couple of the. Well, I think I've got one of these in uh, for the Honda NSR 500. Now, being a Japanese book, you read them back to front, uh, which is a bit awkward, but you soon get used to doing it. And as a reference, absolutely beautiful. That Rothmans car I built. Uh, never really totally happy with it because um, the Rothmans blue is nowhere near the right colour. Way too light, so it might be something I revisit at a later date because I'd like to do it properly if I could. But absolutely awesome. We've got some bare body shells there. Obviously, it's more picture reference because um, I don't read Japanese, but if you've got an auto translator on your phone or what have you, then you can do that. I mean, that Bastos rally car is superb. I've built that kit. Absolutely beautiful machine. And as a reference, I mean, there you go, you've got engine detail. It's probably going to show interior. There you go. Very, very nice. Uh, these are about £15. Uh, Hero Boy's got a few in stock at the minute, and you can get them from Japan if you have a look around as well. That Bastos car is stunning. Really nice. And who says much small cars don't shine? They do, they just don't last that long. Very, very nice. Love those rims as well. Absolutely beautiful. So there you go. There's the Motul Rothmans car. Nice bit of sideways action. So yeah, good reference. Like I say, sadly, not a lot of Japanese to uh, we can read, but that's a nice little lineup there. So we've got the Lancia Delta, the E30, um, got an Alfa Romeo, Sierra Rs 500, Renault 5, Salikas. Very cool. Very nice lineup, but like I say, you know, although you can't read the Japanese, there's lots of picture reference and inspiration. That's another great scheme we need to get as well. Keep meaning to pick up. I think I've got the Fina one. Um, the old 2002 BMW Rally in history. So as you go back, it's gonna take you back there. Has to. I was just released that kit in that scheme as well. 
doesn't really uh, float my boat or uh, tweak my nipples, so I think we'll be giving that one a miss, but it's still a cool car. Like I say, if you get a translator on your phone or you off your camera up, it will translate it for you. It's a bit laborious, but it is there. Very cool. Very, very nice. So yeah, good reference picture. There's a difference between a motorsport car and a road car as well. Not a massive amount of changes there. That iconic BMW M lump there. Absolutely stunning. And a nice dirty Rothmans car there. So like I say, yeah, good reference, £15. If it was translated, it'd be a lot better, but it's just the way it is. I think it's picture reference, which is what a lot of us strive for. Uh, we're often looking for a particular picture, angle, see what wheels they are, or certain things. It's a very, very handy one. Like I said, they're doing more different cars, bikes. Lovely camel car, I've got that one as well. Um, so, have a look, and uh, you never know what you might find. Very nice. There's your results encyclopedia. Excellent. And there we go. So yeah, nice little book. Uh, nice little present off Sam. Thank you, buddy. And that will go in my library of stuff. Uh, he also sent me this, the Hiroshima uh, Greedy Rocket Bunny, uh, which is a very cool kit. It looks rather nice built up. My little boy's just seen it and says he wants it blue. So I've got no choice there. It's going to be blue. And it looks a nice kit. Sam was having a quick look through it the other day. Um, and it looks quite good. You get a decent decal she sheet. Uh, there's quite a lot of decals on it, to be fair. Mass set for the windows, which is good. Clear parts are in there. They look they look really good as well. And uh, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty clean. Aoshima are generally good. So that looks good. I don't know if we've got full engine detail, but it's got a removable bonnet. Or hood for our American friends. Uh, nice set of rims there as well. A couple of different dashboards. Got left hand and right hand drive. That's pretty cool. Nice little touch. Some nice bucket seats with the inserts for the back. That's cool. Nice chrome exhaust. That looks a decent kit, huh? Hmm. Doesn't look bad at all. So that'll be another buddy build yourself, myself and Sam at some point. So thank you, Sam. You're absolute madman. I will get you back, don't you worry. I always get him back one way or another. And uh, yeah, that's a very cool kit. Nice little present. Thank you, buddy. We also bought my little boy a two foot tall Bing teddy bear. Because my little lad loves Bing. Um, so James is happily in the house beating that up now, I think. Probably punching the living hell out of it. But there you go. Thanks, Sam. Right, let's go back to me. And there we go. Uh, very happy with that BMW. It sounded absolutely fantastic. Look at it there. It's there. Uh, it sounded it great, especially those rims. Frankie does great rims. Who are, um, and I'm very, very happy with that. Yeah, no. Um, so there we are. Um, we'll come back next week and hopefully see some progress on the Hemicuda. Don't know if I get it done in a week. We shall see. I hope so. Um, I'm not sure how that thing's looking. Keep an eye up on Facebook. Uh, ISM Facebook Forum, maybe. Uh, car builds don't prove pretty popular in the forum at all. They get vir virtually no comments or views at all. So I think I'll stick to Facebook on my own um, Facebook page for them as well. Just keep an eye up on Facebook and my Paul ISM Facebook group as well for uh, updates on the cars. And uh, there you go. And obviously, you're on the channel now. Give us a subscription if you're not already sub to us. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Leave a comment. I read every single comment. Trust me, they pop up on my watch. I can't miss them. Uh, I don't always get time to respond. And sometimes, if I look at them on the watch, I forget until I go back. And if it's later on, like a week later, I feel like a bit of an idiot responding back. But I try and respond as and when I can. I do appreciate all the comments we get. Uh, so please leave a comment. Uh, obviously, check out the Friday Night Live of the Bench Show. Uh, myself and the guys every Friday night, half 7 UK, half 8 Europe on 30 Central US. Uh, we alternate week to week from a build night to a proper show, and this week it's the show. Um, so join us. We've got no Tim this week, so there'll probably be no latest kit releases, but Tim said he's going to double up for next time, so that'd be good. Um, check out the Modeling Hangout group as well for the off-air hangouts. You want to come and join us and do some off-air hangouts? Hello, I like it. Uh, you can come and sit with us, have a laugh, sit and talk and what have you. And uh, come and join us there. And also check out ISM Facebook page and forum as well. Uh, they're the home on the heart of ISM. Come and join. Say hello. Come and join in the fun. Share your work in a you know a stress-free environment and uh, no river counters, etc. So come and join us over there as well. And check out upretail.com. Myself and these business. Come on over. Have a look at all our products. Uh, some new ones just been released recently. Our customizable sanders are proven very popular. 
and there's no other ones uh, in the pipeline as well as well as our excellent micro set and soul holder doesn't come in that color that's a special one just for me uh, but they are on the site to buy now and there we go so thanks for watching i'll catch you all next time take care bye bye